Hey Phil, um, <clears throat> I have several things with Walmart, but um, I mean, who who really doesn't? It's like the people go there, but they don't like going there. It's just you know you're fueling this huge conglomerate bastard. But still, deals are pretty good. Now, as I go there, I notice two things, or I guess one thing. There's two types of people. One is the average family who goes there for the deal, sees them in the flyers as they come by for the weekend. Go and pick up a couple things. The deals are pretty good. And then there's the people that go there for everything. Like pop. Like stuff that you would pick up at a corner store but instead get at Walmart because it's three cents cheaper. Now, I mean, it's like they crawled out of their holes because you would never see these people anywhere else. As for the whole Walmart man dying thing, I would personally blame the shoppers. Uh, not as much Walmart, actually. I mean, you can't really say, like, they had such good deals, they killed the man because of it. Because that's just unlikely. I mean, who would actually know that that happened? Except for the people that are running on the man. That's weird. How do you not notice that? As you're running to get the linen of your dreams with your shopping cart, you crush a man's skull under your foot? Yeah, that's that crack is not snapping crackle. Now, also, if you're the security guard inside Walmart, how do you not notice that there's thousands of bloody footprints all over your floor? Oh, it's probably just, like, clean up in aisle five, ketchup. my opinion.